So this little video clip um, is about how to set up the Mazak Smooth Controller using the API interface, the Application Programming Interface. So from Perfect Part, which we've just installed, we run configure and that will launch ncconfig. Um, in this case, I'm connected to a simulator, so I'm using the uh, Mazak simulator preset. We already have the, the Variac series preset set up, but I'm going to use the, uh, the Mazak sim. So really for this purposes, we're just talking about the connection and we do that in the MTI, the machine tool interface section. Um, and you can see the, the default parameters. So the default parameters, the connection type is a Mazak API smooth. You can't change that, that's what it is. Um, and then it's the connection string and the API password that I want to talk about. The connection string has a series of items. The first is the address, the second is the port, the third is the timeout, and the fourth is the file. Although we're using the API um, to communicate, we still require um, the file because for transferring text data from the controller, we still need to use the dprint command. So the API is an extension of the dprint. So let's go back to those parameters. The address is the IP address of the uh, controller. The port is the port that is used by the API. Um, we believe that the 57400 is standard, um, but we yet need to have that confirmed. The timeout defaults so to nine seconds. Um, so if we try to do a communication and there isn't a smooth controller on the end, it will time out and give us that warning. The file is a shared directory with a, a mapped drive to the print.txt, which is the file that gets created when you use the dprint commands. So just to recap, the IP address of the computer, the port number for API, which should be consistent, the timeout for API communications, and the mapped drive and file name for where the dprint file exists. Below that, you'll see that there is the API password. This will become more clear when I show you it on the controller. So the API password is used to, when we connect to the controller, um, it requires our application name and also our password to be entered. And this must match what is on the controller. By default, it's MSP MTI in capitals. So let's have a look on the controller. So this is the smooth interface. You may be looking at um, this screen, uh, which is the common screen we use when the uh, controller is running. Uh, to get back to the main screen that I've just looked at, we press that button. And down on the bottom right hand side, you can see a smooth apps manager. And if we press that button, then it brings us into the applications, the apps manager. And in here, there are two buttons. API access control is shown twice. So this is the one that's almost always there. And here you have the Mazak API security screen. You can see it's set to high. Um, and you can see on the right hand side that nothing is currently connected. So if we press this button, it allows us to configure software name. Now, if you remember, we wanted to add the display name that we have on our application. So I'm going to use nc hyphen config. So that exactly matches what the top left of our application. And if you remember, we have the password, which is in capitals, MSP 
MTI, and that matches the value that we had in the parameters of our of our preset. So passwords are going to be hidden. So if we re-enter that, we can see we've got config that the password's gone to dot. And I'm going to set up perfect part as well. So we've got nc hyphen perfect part and it's exactly the same password so we'll set that all up okay so that's now been configured so if we actually try to do a communication then um, that should match from the API point of view so we'll OK that screen and we'll go back. So we are going to set now the, or check the setting for, to make sure that the API is enabled on this controller and also to check the port ID. To get to that, we need to go into position and then there is, if we go into the soft keys, by pressing the left, you can see parameters. And in the parameters, there are more soft keys. And if we go to the right, we can see data IO parameters. And we press that and it brings us to this screen. And inside this screen, there are two tabs and we want to look at DNC and other. And if we look in there, the two parameters that we're looking for are, are IOP4 and that setting bit zero must be a one. So that it must have a one in it to show that the, the API is enabled. So it may be installed, but that has to be one to make it enabled. And then IOP13 gives us the port number and if you remember that 57400 matches the value for the port that we add in the configuration string. So that is all there is to setting the IOP parameters for the API. The final bit we need to do is to find out what the, A the um, IP address is for the controller. So in here we slide into the, the start bar and in the start bar we have Explorer um, and if we look in network um, <coughs> then from the network open opportunity here we have the properties and we are looking at the network that we're connected to which is network 3 um, and if we look at that inside the properties, so this is standard Windows section here, and in the properties, the value there, then you can see we have the IP address, in this case 168, 168, 175, 11, and that matches the value, or must match the value that is inside the connection string. So, we have the API set up, we have the network set up, um, so we can close all of that. So if we go to the Smooth Apps Manager, um, and if I select the um, upload programs from, uh, from config, then <coughs> what we should see is config is connected, it does its download and then it disconnects. So we're all set up. So what, that's, what does that look like in NC Perfect Part? So if we close down um, NC Config and we open up NC Perfect Part, um, then once it's started up, what we see is our traffic lights down on the bottom right. It shows that we are connected um, to the IP address and the port. Um, we shows that we're polling and the amber is showing that there's no data ready for it. So that's the connection all established.